crime continuing to impact communities. According to the city of Albuquerque, as of April 19th, 26 people have been victims of homicide. In the first two months of the year, more than 750 incidents of burglary and breaking and entering have been reported, and more than 3,000 incidents of theft as well. And those numbers are a harsh reality for business owners in Albuquerque. For their employees, reporter Alyssa Munoz found out going to work now comes with an element of fear. A woman fearing for her life. Security footage shows moments before she's robbed at knife point inside the Old Barrel Tea Company in Uptown. A similar situation happening in Old Town as well. Here you could see a man breaking into a bar, then roaming around inside. APD says the man in both videos is Michael Benavides. And within 48 hours, he's out. What's, what's sad about that is when that person's let out, it ties right into APD releasing their top 10 burglary suspects to be on the lookout for. Adding this crime to the suspect's rap sheet. I look up his you know, name and date of birth in New Mexico courts like anybody can, and I'm shocked to find 22 prior arrests. Now the business owner of Outpost and other businesses here in this area are working together to limit crime. One of the business owners sent out uh, on the WhatsApp a picture of two people and said these people are passing counterfeit bills, $100 bills in Old Town. So now 80, 90 businesses know of that. He says the main problem he's seeing is criminals not being held accountable. We're identifying the people in the community, in the metro, and they're saying, hey, right, these are the bad guys that we're having repeated problems with. The court needs to be responsive to that. The district attorney says his office has been working on the issue. I know that we have focused on it in a big way. Uh, our office has dedicated 14 prosecutors who prosecute nothing but shoplifting, domestic violence, and DWI. DA Bregman commenting on the issue. It's we oftentimes don't file pretrial detention motion because we know it wouldn't be granted and it doesn't meet the definition of the law. However, I will say this, when it comes to prolific shoplifters, when it comes to people who are fencing goods for shoplifters, we are absolutely filing motions to detain those individuals. Reporting in Albuquerque, Alyssa Munoz, KWT Action 7 News. Bregman also says a new retail crime law went into effect last June to turn aggregate misdemeanors into felonies. The district attorney's office says it's been using some of the provisions of the new shoplifting law in order to file stiffer charges. 75 people have received aggregated charges, meaning multiple thefts combined into larger charges. 49 people have aggravated shoplifting charges, which means they were threatening people with a firearm. And 11 are charged with organized retail crime, a charge used when stolen property is sold through a fence or middleman.